Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Classified Series Retro Carded Storm Shadow from Walmart. Is this the version we've been waiting for? Let's find out inside. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. All right, let's not waste any time and just jump right into it. Here we have the classic Storm Shadow retro card package. Looking absolutely glorious. That artwork is fantastic. It looks beautiful. I love that you can see just about every single thing that he comes with displayed front and center in the package. The bow, the arrow, the hands, the swords, and the little stand tucked away on the right side right there. Man, this package is fantastic. And thankfully, um, I ordered this along with Zartan, so they came in a box from Walmart, and they were not destroyed. A little bend in the upper right corner, but that's okay. I'm an opener, not a keeper in the package. On the back of the package, you can see the clip and save filed card. It just says roll, covert ops, primary specialty assassin, secondary specialty intelligence, birthplace classified. Storm Shadow can trace his family history through the 30 generations of assassins. He can scale sheer walls with bare hands and feet and move with blinding speed. And of course, you can see the first two that have been warming pegs for the last year and a half or so uh, at Walmarts everywhere with Gung Ho and Destro and then the new um, Storm Shadow and Zartan right there. Um, really looking forward to my Walmart getting the new Crimson Guard and Snake Eyes retro cards. I can't wait to get my hands on those. All right, here we have Storm Shadow opened up and out of the package. And, um, you know, this is basically the exact same Storm Shadow we got before, but this time, instead of having the gauntlets and white hands for, like, gloves, we now just have wraps around the wrist. And as far as that goes, that's about the only major difference um, otherwise the body is in a much brighter whiter white um, the first figure release which we'll take a look at a comparison here in a minute just has more of a, a tint like a colored tint to the white flipping around here on the back you can just see he does come with the little hood accessory that folds down he doesn't come with the upper hood which is uh, appropriate um, see the little belt on his the little sash on his belt hanging down and uh, yeah, looks pretty nice nice texture nice lines throughout zooming in closer on the head you can see that uh, you know he does have that scar going across his left eye which is really nice and one thing that I did notice uh, when comparing him to the other character is that the Cobra symbol on his chest is a little higher up on the on the body so when you compare the two together, you can see that, yeah, the, the, the first release on the left does have um, a slightly redder, um, warmer color to the white, whereas the new release is just a very bright white, which is really nice. And now you can see what I'm talking about, about the logo. The Cobra logo is, has been raised a little bit and applied a little higher up on his chest. But the belt is the same. The sash is the same. It's the exact same sculpt. You can see how the gauntlets and hands have been replaced and uh, looking really nice. And yeah, it does look like on the new release that the scar across the face is a little more pronounced than the one before. Um, and then a little less dirt and grime on the boots. Uh, they're, they're a lot cleaner and just a, a solid color uh, on the wraps around his boots, which I... I really like. Also, um, speaking of the boots, the original release had black soles, whereas this new one just has white soles, which is a nice little added detail. Flipping around here on the back, you can just see how the two stack up and how the, um, uh, the elbows on the original release match the skin color a lot better than the one uh, on the retro card back release. Uh, they may have used the exact same elbows and not colored them, um, which is yeah, that kind of looks like that's exactly what they did there. Taking a look at the accessories, you can see that he does come with uh, his bow. He comes with a left fist, a right hand with a throwing star uh, in it, um, uh, two cobra swords, a long one and a short one. His backpack 
and his arrow so that the backpack can hold both swords it can hold the single arrow um, that goes in the uh, in the sheath and then it also has a little peg to where you can plug in the the, the bow on his back and um, the biggest difference here uh, is the color between the original release and the new um, retro card back release. As you can see, the original had a red handle on the bow and had red feathers on the arrows, whereas the new ones are white instead. And just taking a look at how the backpack looks on his back, there is a little plug just to the upper left of the Arashikagi symbol, and that little triangular plug uh, holds the bow. You can put the bow right there on his backpack and he can carry all of his equipment, except for his extra hands. All right, let's take a closer look at his articulation here. Um, just in case, you know, you guys have, you know, never owned a Storm Shadow or you're new to G.I. Joe line, you know, we've got him pretty much stripped down uh, except for the, um, the sash. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that on. Uh, but as far as articulation goes, he can look up quite a bit. That is a, a really good amount. Uh, he can't really look down all that far unless you push the neck peg forward, uh, mainly because um, what happens is that little um, hood piece right there kind of hinders uh, his chin from going down much further. Um, but uh, as far as uh, his arms go, he does have a really nice butterfly joint, um, so he can get his arm in front of him um, quite a bit for a G.I. Joe classified series figure. Um, it's, not, it's not the greatest, but um, it works. He can go backwards really far, which looks really nice. And uh, he can hit that T-pose no problem. Well, oh my gosh, check that out. QC quality issues abound. No, I'm just kidding. I think he just pushed it too far. He does have uh, the upper bicep swivel, um, which is really nice. He does have double jointed pinless elbows, which is really cool. Uh, he does, uh, and you know, there again, you can see the uh, the difference in the uh, the elbows that I was talking about earlier. Um, it's a little noticeable from behind, but not so much from the front. So I'm not going to be you know super mad at it. He does have a um, swivel right there at the uh, the top of the. Um, uh, wraps and he does have a hinge and swivel at the wrist um, as far as his ab crunch goes he can only bend forward uh, about that far which is not great for a ninja but he can bend back a ridiculous amount so you know at least you've got that going on he does have the um, upper torso and the lower torso joint so you can kind of move it around and it does have a swivel right there so you can have some waist articulation he does have the drop down and the upper thigh cut he does have double jointed pinless knees Oh man, it is really tight. That's a really tight fit. Um, but as you can see, as the way the um, it's sculpted right here, uh, he can't quite go all the way back and kick his own butt, but that's okay. Um, he does have an upper um, swivel at the top of the wrap and then <clears throat> hinge and swivel at the foot. But that is the articulation here uh, for um, Storm Shadow. Now I do want to um, see if I can get him back in a sort of a basic pose here and then um, let's bring in a base because I want to try to be as kind of accurate as I can when I when I'm showing off heights and sometimes I forget to put the character that I'm reviewing on a base so let's go ahead and do that and uh, get him slid back here and uh, let's bring out a couple of Cobra figures that I happen to have sitting around pretty close uh, here is the retro carded Destro which looks really nice and then here is my um, Cobra commander little custom hood uh, head sculpt there um, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to get into it. I understand Hasbro's stance, but I still wanted one. Uh, so uh, I think it looks really nice. Let's get Cobra Commander out of the way and then bring in the retro carded uh, Zartan, my, my current favorite uh, figure. And man, he is, Storm Shadow is much smaller than Zartan. Zartan's a pretty beefy boy. So let's get these guys out of the way and get him under some lighting and all kitted out and uh, into some backgrounds and see how he poses up. I really, really, really dig this release of Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow uh, is my second favorite G.I. Joe character of all time, um, right behind Zartan. I really love this guy. He is awesome in this retro card back release. 
is to me the pinnacle of perfection on this figure. I can't really think of many other things I would like to do to this figure to make it any more perfect. I think it is just pretty perfect as is, and I am so happy to have it in my collection. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I super appreciate it. Thanks for all the support you guys have been giving me over the last few weeks. It is absolutely incredible, and I will never be able to thank you guys enough. So please continue to check us out over at Instagram.com slash Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I am the Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark. And remember, I will see you in the toy office.